Hi guys, my name is Harshit and you are watching Digital Sensory. On this channel, I make videos related to WordPress and DB. So if you are looking forward to learn more tricks and tips in DB, then make sure you subscribe to this channel. This way, you'll be notified as soon as I publish a new video. So now let's get started with this video. In this video, you are going to learn how to add shape dividers to rows, modules or columns in DB. As you can see that this is a row and there is a shape divider in this. So how did I achieve that? I am going to show you exactly what you need to do in this video. The first thing you need to do is you need to go to your WordPress admin dashboard. Now you need to add a new page where you want to add the divider. So let's add a new page. Now let's give this page a title. Now let's click on use DB Builder to make this page in DB Builder. Let's click on start building and build from scratch. So let me create a row first and then add some element to it. Now I'll give this row a background as well so that you can clearly see the divider which will be added. So you can add any color or anything in the background. For now, I'm just adding the yellow color. Now, if I want, I can also add some padding to the row so that there is more space in the row. So as you can see that there has been padding added to both of the sides as well as top and the bottom. Now it's time to add the divider. So before adding the divider, you need to make sure that you have the base64 code of the divider. So what is the base64 code, how to generate that? I'll talk to you about that in a little while. But before that, let's see how the divider actually works. So to do that, you need to go to your row settings. And then you need to go to the advanced tab. Now you need to go to the custom CSS tab. And in the before section, you need to add some code. I am going to link this code in the description. So for now, you don't need to understand how this code works. I'll be talking to you about that in the later part of this video. So let's copy this code and paste it here. And as you can see that the divider has been added. Now I'll go to the row settings to change the padding so that the divider don't overlap with my content. So in my bottom padding, I'll make it 100. So as you can see that now it looks perfectly fine. And you can also check the mobile version of the website to see if it's working properly or not. As you can see that in my mobile version as well, this is looking perfectly. Now there can be many type of dividers and there can be many colors, right? But you don't see all of that in the code. I'll just show you the code again. So as you can see, this is the code and you have an option to change the background color. Now, you can make the background color anything, but as you can see that the background color is appearing only on the top. It's not changing the below section of the divider. So to do that, you need to create a new divider in Photoshop or get a PNG image of the divider from the internet. Both will work. And then you need to convert that divider image into base64 format and then replace this with the base64 code which will be generated. So this code which comes between these brackets has to be replaced by the divider image base64 code. So to generate that, let's first get a divider. So to get any kind of divider from the internet, you can search for PNG dividers on Google. So this will generate you results of lots and lots of PNG images of different kind of dividers. Now these are not the dividers we are looking for, so we will search for PNG shape dividers. And this will lead you to lots and lots of results. Now you might not get exactly what you are looking for or you might not get them in the color you are looking for, so you can create them yourself in Photoshop. Make sure it's a PNG image with one side having the divider and the other side being transparent. For example. As you can see in this one, the top side has the divider element and the below side is going to be transparent. So in my computer, I've already saved one of those images. I'll show you. So as you can see that in this folder, I have two images which I have to use. So I'll show you both of these images. So this is an image in light pink color. 
and the other one is in white color with same shape. So this is the divider we are going to use and you can create any divider in Photoshop if you have some graphic design skills or you can hire a graphic de designer to do the same. So once you have these images in different colors, now it's time for us to add these images to our website. So now how to add them? First we need to convert them into the base64 format. So let's go to Google and search for PNG to base64 converter. And when you will search that, there will be many results. Just go to the first link or the second link. They all work in the same way. And let's drag and drop our shape divider here. Now once the shape divider has been added, it will generate the code. So click on select all and just copy this code. Now let's go to our row and replace this code with the code which was existing there already. So in the custom section, I'll go and replace this code between the bracket with the newly generated code. And when I paste it, as you can see that the divider has been replaced. Now, if you want this to be of different color, you need to make sure that you have that in different color in your own computer as the PNG image. So in my case, I want the divider to look white so that it blend with the background color. So in my case, I'll go back to base64 image editor and I'll generate the code for white image as well. Now once I have generated the code for white image, the process remains the same. I'll just copy this base64 code, come to the row and replace my code with this one. So I'll just copy this whole code and replace it with the freshly generated white colored shape divider code. And as you can see that when I did that, the divider has successfully worked on this. Now using the same way, you can add shape dividers to modules as well as columns. I have tested them and they work very fine. So this was how you can add shape dividers to your rows, columns or modules in DB. If you have any questions, please let me know in comments. Thank you. I hope you like this video. It takes me a lot of efforts to create free videos like these for all of you people. So please consider to subscribe. And if you have any questions or suggestions, then you can go to our website digitalsuncity.com slash help and fill in the contact form. I'll reply to that as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video. So before you quit, I have an amazing offer for you. I'm giving away free access to all of my digital resources to all of my viewers. These digital resources can be divided in two types. The first thing is layouts. This includes hundreds of templates for Divi, Elementor, Visual Composer and a lot of royalty free graphics which you can use on any website. Now the second thing is premium WordPress video tutorials. In the coming weeks, I am creating video courses for all the major WordPress themes and plugins. This will include video tutorials for WordPress, Divi, Astra, Elementor, Visual Composer and lot more. So as you can see, I have already started working on them. Now, to get all of these premium digital resources, you have to go to my website digitalsuncity.com slash VIP and put in your email address. And then you'll receive an email which will contain all of these things. That's it. So go to the link in the description right now and claim all of these resources instantly. I am waiting for you to get my digital resources for free.